City of San Diego workers are preparing to speak out against the upcoming vaccine mandate. From police to lifeguards, San Diego employees will be voicing their opposition at a conference next week. One big concern, losing hundreds of law enforcement officers who could be fired if they don't get the vaccine. News 8's Amanda Shotsky is at City Hall with the details. The woman I spoke with asked us not to reveal which agency her husband works for, but she wanted to share her concerns for the community. I see the stress, I see the worry, and I see the concern that they have. Rachel Ashley's husband has been working in law enforcement for more than 20 years. She says it's a job that requires a strong and healthy mind and body. They already take those precautionary measures and are proactive in staying physically fit. But Ashley says lately there's been an added stressor surrounding the upcoming city mandate, requiring all city employees to be vaccinated for COVID-19 by the end of the year or risk termination. For what they do and how valuable that they are and how much we need them, um, they need to be given an, another alternative. A recent survey found 90% of all San Diego police officers are opposed to the mandate. And as of last month, 500 San Diego police officers were still unvaccinated. Ashley, who used to work at a 911 dispatch, says she's worried about the impact to the community if hundreds of officers are let go. The worst call I would have is trying to dispatch a call to someone who desperately needed an officer's help and we had no one to dispatch. In response to this concern, San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria sent this statement to News 8. The city is still in the meet and confer process with its recognized employee organizations on how we will manage unvaccinated employees. We have a responsibility to protect our city employees and the public, particularly as city workers, including our police officers, regularly interact with the public. Next week, Ashley will join others from the San Diego Police, CHP, firefighters and lifeguards to speak out against the mandate and ask that the city come up with another plan. When you take those values for what they were hired for and you have to fire them for those same values that they are upholding, we are in a very um, sad time in America, in our country and in the city. It's important to note that the city has already extended that vaccine deadline from November 2nd to December 1st. All right, Amanda, thanks.